Okay, hey everyone, welcome to this uh, student interview where we've got Caroline Ray and I'm thrilled that she's actually landed a role at the end of the course. So we're going to talk about her experience with course careers and moving into a designer role at YNAB now, which is really interesting and should be some inspiration for all the students. So uh, Caroline, do you mind uh, giving, giving us a quick background about yourself and then let us know a little bit about you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I am a musician by training, pro probably pretty creative throughout my whole life and, and definitely pursued creative endeavors, but it wasn't until like after all my schooling in music um, and having to shift uh, into a more technical role um, during the lockdowns and everything, like my musician career kind of ended and I was left wondering, do I go back? What's next? And after a couple of years of kind of exploring where I wanted my career to go, I kept being drawn to design. I didn't know exactly um, what design was, what UX, UI was, anything like that. But um, I started to really get serious about um, kind of tapping into that creative side again. Um, if that makes sense, just like yeah, totally. kind of working a job. Um, so I've been uh, like a customer support specialist for the past four years, um, you know, doing odds and ends here and there. Um, but yeah, I do have a creative background, but in a in a different field for sure. So, what? Why did you want to change? Uh, it was just something a bit more you found more interesting or? yeah yeah i mean i i had a pretty good career going in music and and when everything kind of shut down live music ended people didn't want me coming into homes to teach lessons and it kind of was a chance for me to reevaluate is this what i want to do for the rest of my life and it wasn't and i was kind of left with okay i have to do something um yeah. and it took a while it, it took a while to to even realize like that design is a job like i thought it was too good to be true if that makes sense like oh you don't you get to like design things and and everything um so it took me a while to connect the pieces but i'm i was always like searching for that cre that creative um thread i think just because of my background and and everything yeah i mean that that makes sense a lot a lot of designers come from artistic backgrounds mm -hmm. so as you can see, I've got the Beatles on the wall. I'm like a failed musician. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what, what I'm quite interested in is how did you find course careers? And also, how did you uh, decide that like UX was what you wanted to do with, within the space? Yeah, so I feel like I, I had like the perfect kind of environment to discover this. So uh, I've been working at YNAB for the past five years on a support team and it's an app. And that was my first, like when I got into that support role, answering emails, um, you know, in the chat box, like the world of technology was really new to me. Um, I was playing piano and then now I'm like, oh, I have to know what like all of this technical stuff is. So it was quite the learning curve, but what it did was introduce me to kind of this like world of design but from afar right from the support side i didn't know what went on i didn't know what developers did i didn't know what designers did but i was like adjacent to that world for the first time and it's in the world of finance and budgeting and all of that um and so my youtube algorithm kind of skews towards that direction and i'm always like looking for ways to kind of improve my financial um, well-being. And so it was actually on a different uh, YouTube channel. Just this this guy um, became a part of Course Careers Affiliate Program. Okay. And he had just mentioned like one way that you can, um, his name's Caleb Hammer. Um, and he's like one way that, you know, sometimes it's about, you know, budgeting and sometimes it's about you need to make more money. and course careers is a great way to like elevate your skills to try to get there. And so it was a kind of this perfect timing of like, I was introduced to course careers after I, after being introduced to design. Um, so I kind of knew what it was when I saw it, but um, maybe we can get there. I, I was kind of like missile 
I, I had misinterpreted what it was until okay. I found horse careers and then it kind of clicked and I was like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so if that makes sense, I, I kind of had this idea like, oh, it would be cool instead of just like supporting, not just supporting the app. It's a, it was a great, great job. But I was like, I want to be proactive. I don't want to like help make the app. Um, yep. How do I do that? And then the course careers came around. Um, I had reached out to the design director at YNAB just to be like, hey, what, what would I do? Like, what would you do if you were in my position and wanting to start? And so I had, yeah, I had started to explore some things, but kind of got lost in the world of the internet of if you're just starting out looking in design, the way I pictured it was like that, that sign that points like Spain, 3000 miles, yeah. Tokyo, 5,000 miles. And it's just like, where do I start? Where do I go? Um, and so I, I kind of wandered the internet aimlessly for a while and then <laughs> thankfully oh, no. came across course careers. So I, 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 yeah, it's very really interesting. So um, my next question is, how did you? So obviously you did the free course, and you thought mm -hmm. that might be interesting for you. So what mm -hmm. was your what was your experience like on the course? Because I know you said it, you had a different idea what it was like. And then yeah, yeah. But like, so I think when I when I found the course and I when I took the in, intro course and I decided to like go for it, I I really had this narrow mind that design is color choice typography you know just one slice of the pie and and i started get to get this inkling of like there's more to it i know it like i don't know what it is but i i was like searching for like what's the foundation like i feel like i need that foundation and I have, like to be honest when i got into course careers like i had dabbled and i'd purchased a couple of course other courses in the past and i just never they never clicked and never really felt like what i needed or wanted and i did not know what i was getting into with course careers like i just thought it was going to be one of those other course like i, I took a two-week course and i was like oh maybe it's going to be like that like maybe it will take me two months and then yeah. i'll just you know be done and i'll learn a lot and it could mean more than double that way more than double that um and that's a good thing because i got into it and you just like dove right into like the meat and potatoes of it i was like this is what i've been looking for and so my experience with the course was kind of like go really hard thinking that this was supposed to be like this fast-paced thing and then realizing like with the case study and how that like you you're doing the entire design process and that to me was a big part of it was instead of just like what i had experienced in the past or what you get by just like googling things is you get like here's this one idea and here's this one idea and here's this one idea and it's like that's great but the way that the case study worked and how you laid everything out was I got to see how A leads to B leads to C leads to D. D didn't work. You have to go back to B, but then that makes C better. And and then you can keep going. Like that to me was like such a big part. And that's why it took longer. That's why I was like, oh, okay, I need to slow down. Like this is an opportunity to really sink my teeth into building these skills and understanding um, what the design process is, where my strengths are and where my weaknesses are um and like where my interest lies and yeah i think i mean it was a big project and by the end so i kind of like started really fast realized okay i'm going to take this kind of slow and steady to really ingrain what i'm learning and then towards the end when i got to kind of the actual designing of the app i went like gung ho and it was almost like a full-time job and i was like okay this is like really exhilarating and exciting um and yeah it was it was intense it, but so worth it i learned so much i feel like i'm i'm leaving the course not only with like very practical skills but i think one of the biggest things i took away from this course is like i'm asking so much better questions and i again it's just like kind of that guidepost of like strip away a lot of the chaos and just focus and 
It will all be there. All the things that I have yet to learn will still be there when I'm ready for them. But now I have this like foundation laid. And that's why like getting into this job that I have now, it's like, it's still new. Like this is still so brand new to me. And I feel that, but I feel because like I took three months to research. Like that's what blew my mind was I thought we were going to just design, <laughs> design. <laughs> But three months of research, and, and at first I was confused, and then by the time I got to design, I was like, oh, that makes sense why it took so long to get through that process, and I was so grateful for it. And now that I'm in this role where everything's new and I'm, I'm learning new skills, I get to fall back on, like, okay, I know how to research things. I've learned how to ask better questions. I kind of know what my teammates are doing, even though, you know, yeah. I've only done this one case study, but I'm like, oh, this is what I did when, you know, I was doing surveys and, and everything. So I'm, I'm really happy you said that. So like, I, I know a lot of people start off wanting to do design and they'll go on YouTube and they'll just see lessons in Figma. And mm -hmm. it's like, okay, but, but what goes on the page? What do you, what, what do you, what do you want to measure? What do you want it to do? Who are you designing it for? That's kind mm -hmm. of like real stuff. Yeah. It's like, so, so you won't be scared when Figma changes to another tool in the future because you know that's just the top level. Yes. Layer. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really happy. How did you find the community as well? Because I think that's one of the coolest things about the uh, course. Yeah, I. Yeah, so thankfully I was pretty comfortable in Discord, um, and so I, I, it was really easy for me to jump in and and really inspiring to kind of just see people who are just ahead of me. Um, just that, like that definitely helps with motivation to be like, oh, I, that looks fun. I can't wait till I get there. And then, you know, be diligent to make sure to get there. And then, and then also, um, you know, because I stayed in the community and I stayed engaged the whole six months, five, six months, you know, I got to help people who were just like behind me and like take their surveys and, and give feedback and and I feel like that is a big part of design as well as like the art of giving feedback and yeah, yeah, and definitely. that like helps reinforce my decisions like if I'm giving feedback about this it's going to help me in my next design or my next decision so I feel like the community in general was like really active and really engaging and I love that you're always, as you say, applying Kaizen and iterating and, and always building that channel because um, when I started it, you hadn't added this channel, but maybe midway through you added like the accountability partner channel. Yeah, and yeah. I actually, I connected with someone and we, we were tight. Like we held each other accountable. We helped each other through homework. We, I mean, we just messaged earlier this week, just yeah. reconnecting. And so I feel like having that other person, that other student, you know, it, I got to know a couple of the students who were like kind of keeping pace, like we were keeping pace with each other, but having that like accountability partner helped so much. Um, and having it not be this whole big thing, but just like, oh, it's just a text message on Discord. I do that all the time. Um, so I think having it on Discord in particular made it super accessible. Not, it didn't feel formal. It just felt like it was a supplement and an encouragement and inspiration. I'm really happy that you mentioned the accountability partner because it's it's not something that's like you don't need to do it in the course, but it's mm -hmm. like if you want to talk to someone and send mm -hmm. each other whatever you want. That's um, that, and I'm really happy that you connected with someone. Um, mm -hmm. like, I want to find out is so once you did the course your your, your case study was fantastic by the way and um, what were your steps to then land in a role how did you go about doing that with with the company yeah so yeah so i was hired by the company that i've been at and i i know that's not going to be everyone's situation but i also encourage you is like just try like if you're at a if you're at a company that has these kinds of roles or even if they don't and you think they need them like it I think it is about like finding that opportunity and and I, I do feel like I was in a unique position because um like the company that I have doesn't have like a a natural path to make the jump from support to yeah. design like I did um but they you know 
they I reached out and I was like, hey, this is what I'm interested in and this is what I'm doing. I'm taking this course. Here are the other things that I'm trying to do. And I and I did do more than course careers. Like I, I supplemented on the side. I did like personal projects and anything at my current job on the support team that I could do in Figma or Fig Jam, I did it because I was like, I do need to learn these tools. And so um I again like after I started the course, um I was just super vocal at my company and they ended up letting me split my time 50 50 kind of like an internship thing and so like during the course i was already connecting with the marketing department kind of helping them with like one-off design jobs and and things like that so i was starting to get my foot in the door um, and then that internship ended i graduated and then it kind of was like okay can we make this official and so I, I did go through the graduate portal, um, but I think the timing was um, like, I didn't have to like go full fledged into that yet um, in order to get this job. It was a lot of like networking where I was at. And yeah. I had a little bit of like a, an existential crisis of like, is that good? Does that count? Uh, you know, it's like, should I be, you know, doing all of these other things? and and, you know, I really was like, no, this is what I want to do. I love the company that I work for. And they they might not have a need for a designer right now, and that's okay. But, like, I'm, I was glad that they did. <laughs> so um, that, That's very similar how, how, how I got started. So I say the story during the course is I started with internships. And mm -hmm. I think you've really, really got to look after yourself. You Like, you, if, you, if you wanted mm -hmm. something, then... You know, you can apply for a job, but there might be a hundred people. But if you can go and intern somewhere or the company you work for, mm -hmm. or in the door, they get to know your personality. Yeah. And then, um, I, I guess when you transitioned over, did you show the design director the stuff that you've been working on? Um, not the design director him, himself, but the marketing department, like my would my future manager and all of yeah. that. I shared like my case study and the the final exam and everything um how did that go down good good it was it was pretty quiet so i don't really know how that whole process went um right. got the job but, <laughs> I guess yeah i, I got that <laughs> you're right no but it was and like i think that's the biggest thing was kind of just you know going out on a limb to see an opportunity that wasn't necessarily there like i had to kind of ask for it yeah. um and then and just like and be content with like there's a lot of like shiny object syndrome i think and i i, I was in a good place like i worked at a you know a company that i liked and and wanted to stay at and everything so um but i what i will say is like something that i am excited about is kind of like getting a teaser about how the graduate portal is set up is you know I, even though i've like landed this job like there are skills that i want to still develop there you know like side projects that i want to do and so i i definitely feel like what i have ahead of me is like continually developing my portfolio and getting getting it to like a good place um and i definitely see the graduate portal helping me kind of get my bearings around that whole thing that's great. I mean, sure. you, can, mm -hmm. you, can stay, you can stay on the Discord as well. Like, mm -hmm. uh, wait, mm -hmm. touch you, everyone. That uh, that's exactly what it's for. Um, so, going on to the last questions, then. So, uh, I've got: What did you find most valuable about going through the course? Was there anything that like that really stood out to you, or was it just did you enjoy the mm -hmm. whole thing? Yeah, I mean, the case study and the thoroughness of it. Just, I I haven't seen anything kind of like it i i even like equated it to like my bachelor's degree and i was like imagine if like imagine if college was set up this way like people would be graduating with businesses with apps you know it's just like yeah. so comprehensive and in a way that is just like so tangible um and it like builds off of each other i just haven't seen that in a course in, in all my education um over the the past 10 years design or not so it's like just the setup itself is so great um one thing that i will say that stood out to me about your 
like teaching in particular that I haven't seen elsewhere as well is just like a lot of other courses kind of and not to say that you didn't do this but a lot of courses are like let me chat about what it's like to be a designer and it's like oh, one video and they kind of give this like overview about like this is the day in the life or whatever but like you in your videos would like cut in and say like I'm recording this at 6 a.m. because I have a full-time job and I'm building this course. And I like those little moments of vulnerability that you had and like you sharing your story kind of very naturally along the way. Like that's what kept me going. And that's what that I think spoke to me so much more of like, okay, this is what it's like. Not the whole 6 a.m. thing in particular, but just like those little bits that you inserted of like like working with people or like managing projects and so you know i really i just really appreciate your vulnerability and sharing and the insights that you drop in like it, it definitely felt like it's it's weird talking to you now because i like you're interacting with me you're not just yeah. you know, on the video. and yeah. I, I watched a video of yours every day for six months so you were very much like ingrained in my life and now you're here and it was just so personable and i think that's something that a lot of you know it's you know, there's probably other courses out there, but I mean, there's just so much wrapped up in this like course careers, UX, UI course yeah. that yeah. it's just so much value. Realistic, isn't it? I, guess, I guess that was my mm -hmm. thing. It's like, because I, I, I got a lot of the stuff I watch online. It's like, oh, this perfect world, the day in the life of going to this lovely building. It's like in reality, it's like, you know, you're 90% of it is interacting with people and having mm -hmm. good skills and getting up early and putting mm -hmm. in work and you might have kids and you gotta mm -hmm. you know you gotta do real stuff um mm -hmm. I, I guess i just wanted to be realistic in it <laughs> yeah no and that i mean and that spoke to me so much and i was like okay i can trust you yeah you well know? that's it it's like yeah it's it's not quick it's not easy it's, it's a lot of hard work mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna pretend like i didn't when i was studying i didn't get up at six and do two hours work because that's when i could mm -hmm. fit it in. and that's the, the reality of a lot of students on the course they've got full mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. it's like you'll have an hour of a night to do it <laughs> mm -hmm. no i mean i worked full time yeah. i worked two jobs during doing this and 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 i think to me that's like a testament that i was like and i want to do this if i'm willing to do this from you know 10 p.m yeah. to midnight you know, four days a week. This probably needs something. So and, um, and you're into it as well. I mean that's yeah, yeah. That gives me a lot of hope. I'm really I'm really happy that you found a career that you're happy in. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and you've got this role, it will just grow. You can keep building mm -hmm. your portfolio. You, know, you can mm -hmm. use and you know from a high level how to start something from a pencil sketch yep. to deliver that. Mm -hmm. Which uh, it's just really fantastic. Um, so the, the last question I have is, uh, would you recommend course careers to a friend starting on their journey? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> I have <laughs> many times in the past month, for sure. Well, you've got your link and you'll be able to get $50 back if they sign up. <laughs> a little bit more. Uh, I think it might be 200 But, um, I, you know, it's really, it's really for me, it, it's great meeting students who have enjoyed the course. Because mm -hmm. when you're making videos, like I said before, it's just me in a shed. I, I, and then I just I just live a normal life, so I don't I don't get like like you talking to me now. It's it's interesting me talking to you now, having some mm -hmm. feedback from students. Um, but I think you're going to be an inspiration to a lot of people. I, I think your case study is brilliant, and the fact that you've actually put the work in, as, as you said, uh, up until midnight, and uh, landed a role that you're happy with. Uh, mm -hmm. Just thank you for being an inspiration. Oh yeah, and yeah, thank you for everything. <laughs>